Hey everyone, welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. Today, something a little bit different because, as you know, we have a fifth wheel, a grand design, a minimum 399, and of course you have to tow that with the truck. However, our neighbors, Pat and Michelle, have asked us if we want to drive their Tiffin. Yes, that's right, they have a Tiffin. Uh, we love those Class A's and was actually considering one at one point and maybe we could we'll consider it down the road but today he's going to teach me how to drive because pat also trains uh folks to drive tractor trailers and the fire trucks uh for where he works so this should be fun a little nervous should be pretty cool though all right we're here we found a empty parking lot and uh we're here so and he's nervous Yes, yes, I'm nervous. This is a very big, expensive RV. It's beautiful. It is. Did you thank Pat and Michelle? I'm good. Yeah, and I'm gonna get them in the video too. They don't know it yet, but they're gonna be in the video. We went paddleboarding with them yesterday and the day before. We've just had a great time hanging out with you guys. So it's been fun. We appreciate it, and we enjoy thoroughly enjoyed meeting you guys. All right, let's do this. All right, where are we going? Numble Lighthouse? Nibble Lighthouse? Nub Nubble? Nubble? Nubble. N-U-B-B-L-E. You pronounce it the way you want. I think it's Nubble because you put a B instead of an N as bubble, so... That makes sense. We'll I go with Nubble. I think it's Nubble, but don't really know. So. But it is our anniversary, <laughs> and you love lighthouses? Yes. So... We're going to go see a lighthouse. Go see a lighthouse. Or at least, it, at least our, try. It'll be our first lighthouse in Maine. What do you think? It's amazing out here. I mean, I, I think we say that about every location we go to. I know, to. but this is something we haven't we haven't seen landscape like this yet. No, and it's I mean absolutely amazing, and the way that the tide changes what it looks like is even more spectacular. Yeah, there's some huge houses out here too. Beautiful, beautiful architecture. I mean, between the houses on the cliffs, the different shades of the rocks, the birds perching over there look like penguins. The clear water. Like, that looks like penguins sitting on top of it a snow. It does. It's not penguins. I zoomed in. <laughs> Definitely not penguins. It's like penguins sitting on top of a snow-capped mountainside. Yeah. Um, but the, I mean, even like right here at the waterline is just coral galore down here. So let me, let me show you what, got, what we're looking at right now. We're sitting on this cliff, just kind of looking down, watching the the water coming in and out over these rocks. I mean, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just some pretty it's blue, clear water. Clear water. Got to see someone catch squeeze. All right, well, let's, let's make her climb back. Come along, little one. This is just amazing. The lighthouse, this little passage, so it's actually out there on an island. It's not really an island once tide is all the way out because over here in this little narrow area, you start to see rocks all the way across. So it does form a little bit of a bridge. We won't be trying that today. I know you can anyways, but anyways, but it's, uh, it's closed. There's like a little, almost like a little ski bucket that will take you across over the, across over to the island which is not running but it is just beautiful down here he didn't know he was going to be in it <laughs> put him on the spot so he couldn't think about it i'm nervous about driving this i'm not so. nervous for you driving this no okay so <laughs> pat tell them tell them a little bit about like what you do i'm a firefighter okay. i've been a firefighter for 32 years um, I've been driving fire truck for most of that time. Um, I'm in the Air National Guard. Okay. Um, I drive uh, tractor trailer. I drive buses. 
um, so you're very forklifts. familiar with something like this. Yes, yes I am. I am not. <laughs> but you, you also teach others. Yes, at oh. the base. Okay, so that's why you're not nervous about no. me driving it. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> you're used to ripping. Yes. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. I I'm, I'm you'll sure. be fine. We got a big open park, parking yeah, lot. So you'll be fine. We should be good. All right. So this is this is my setup. This is how I. You guys have uh, TPMS, right? Yes. The RV Trip Wizard. It's right off. The so as soon as you turn your blinker on. Yep. And then when it's off, it, about three seconds, and it goes back to the rear. So you have a lot more buttons than than we do. <laughs> Could you walk us through some? Yeah. Of these? Most of these are step cover. That okay. covers the step. Um, the fans up here. Um, you have your solar shade and your night shade, which come down in the front. Your generator start. We can run our generator as we're driving down the road. Nice. To run our AC. The map lights are right above us. Your dock lights, which are around the outside perimeter of the, the coach. And then the radio. Here we got your, all your lights, your dims. Um, auxiliary start if uh, the batteries, your chassis batteries die, you can switch over to your house batteries and they will charge the, the chassis batteries. If we're in a cold spot, we have engine preheat. You can hit that, it'll preheat the, the engine because it is a diesel. These um, move the pedals forward and back mm. for shorter people or, long, or taller people. You can go forward and back with those. This little button here toggles through everything on the dash. This is the mirror heat, heated mirrors. This is how you, you move your mirrors. Exhaust brake um, for your diesel. Your self-leveler, the, the HWH. Big thing with this, I mean, it does turn really good. Is it, um, especially at intersections, it's, you take them wide, and then this does cut really, <clears throat> really, oh, yeah. really quick. Sharp, yeah. This whole seat will drop down. That's really nice. Um, yeah, this. I know. Dixie wants to go. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, Alright, you ready? Yeah. Right. Ready as I'm going to be, I guess. Uh, Alright, so I see you're in neutral. Neutral, yep. So that's your park because it's a parking brake. We have air brakes. Okay. So with uh, with a diesel, big big vehicle diesels, with your air brake. Um, have you ever driven a vehicle with air brakes? No. So it is different. So what you do, you put your foot on the brake. Can you can you see that your your mirrors are all good? Um. Yeah. Yeah, if you see. need to change anything, your, your stuff's right there. I yeah. can change it back, Absolutely. whatever you... All right, so foot on the brake. Foot on the brake, press down on your your um, parking brake. That will disengage it, so your your brakes are off, your brakes are off. All right. You press, that's just be, that's, that that beeping. Nope, that's just beeping because you're not in drive and you're in neutral. So you hit D, and when, that, when it selects D, so with this, it says six one. So you're you're selected for drive, which is the sixth gear, and you're in first gear. So that's what you're in. Okay. So what you're in right now. So you're selected. It'll go up to six. Okay. But you're in the first. Lock off on the, the brake, and it'll start to ghost. Wow. That's nice. And then if you press your brake, you'll see the. I mean, you have to press it a little bit more than than, than normal. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That's fine. That's. I mean, we're not going fast. That's good. All right. They're touchy. Yeah, for I mean, something the size. When you're going down the road, it's it, it's something you got to get used to. That was smooth. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you're doing something. Well, Michelle, Michelle hasn't even driven this yet. 
Oh no. You, you, yep, you can go ahead and start cutting. Do you want to record? Yeah. You doing it too? No, that's okay. And she doesn't. <laughs> keep going. There you go. are actually much closer together than, than what you would think than, than what you would think because I, I keep putting my foot over and hitting the, oh. the steering column yep okay I see that with my foot I would be yeah, we'll turn before the pole yeah first, I'm not going to yep, the and then, we'll, then we can once you get a little used to it then we can go around that pole I wish my truck had the sharp this is, it is nice we were at a brewery the other year last week two weeks ago and we pulled into a small parking lot and they told oh we have to move and I didn't think we were going to make it out of it and it turned right around. Not, I haven't even cut this thing as sharp as it'll go <laughs> and it's still really nice. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a, a teenager <laughs> trying to learn how to drive that a was, manual. That was thick, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't stalled yet. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> This would definitely take some getting used to out on the road. I guess because I'm just so familiar with driving the truck. Right. Yeah, like when you're out on the road and the big thing is when you're taking turns is looking out that the watching that rear. Yeah, that rear when you're that's See, that and it, that's opposite for me on the fifth wheel because I I have to watch this one, especially if I'm taking a left turn. turn. Because I want to watch exactly where my wheels are tracking. Because you don't want to track too much. Because I don't want to track too far in. Yeah. That will tell me if I need to straighten up sure. and bring it out a little bit further. All right. So when you're when you're parking, now when you park, same thing. Just reverse. You put it in neutral. Yep. Put it in neutral. And, and then pull select, up. And then it'll start to beep, and you pull up. And then she hears that. And she comes running out. Oh. <laughs> that's her. That, that's, we know it's. Uh, that's her. Okay, I can get out now. We know we're good. Which thing? It's different. I love it. it it's different though because. I mean, some things are backwards. We were just talking about, like, I have to pay attention. If I'm making a lifting turn, I have to pay attention to the wheels on this side so they don't cut too far. This one, you got to watch that tail swing because even as far off of the grass as I was, it was going over the grass mm -hmm. when I cut. So that that's a huge difference. And then, of course, like, just the air brakes versus normal is uh, it's pretty touchy. <laughs> I told him it looked like I was a, a teenager trying to learn how to drive a manual. Yeah. Just the <laughs> <laughs> Well, you couldn't tell it from the outside. Oh, okay, good. It, it looked fine. You're natural. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. It was nice and slow. It was nice and slow and smooth. So well, cool. You couldn't tell that from the outside. It's just a confidence thing. The more you drive them, yeah, the more yeah, confidence. Sure. It's just like the, your big truck, your your truck, you know, and yeah. you're towing. The more you the more you drive, the more confident you get. I'm sure. Yeah, I would be. I would definitely be nervous to take this out on like the road. Um, but I was. I was scared to death when I picked up our fifth wheel. The Having first, something that's 45 feet wheel. long yeah. behind us. Well, yeah. even when we picked up the new one in Canton, Ohio, there was so much construction and it was almost nighttime. And I was just like, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was going crazy trying to figure out how to get the, it back to the uh, campground before nighttime. So your RV is a 2017 Tiffin Phaeton 36 GH. Yes. So what made you go with that one? The floor plan. Um, the size yeah we didn't want to go over 40 feet um, there's Makes a lot sense. of places over 40 feet it's harder to get into yeah so I know. definitely under 40 <laughs> feet um, and yeah the floor plan yeah and they, tiffin is just like the quality yeah the quality yeah. It, it, I was just talking about the the craftsmanship inside just the little attention to detail it's yeah. just really nice well I really appreciate you not a problem letting me uh, drive not it not a problem very and, nice meeting and you it guys. was very nice meeting you guys as yes. well and hanging out for the last three days and paddle boarding <laughs> yes. and so we've had some adventures we had our ups or downs Ju <laughs> jumped off a bridge together that was a first for me uh lost an apple watch in the process uh more on that one but yeah we really appreciate it and not a problem and uh i think we're going to be out west around the same time so hopefully we get to meet hopefully up again we can meet up out there absolutely cool well thanks again not a problem can you believe that was so cool so if y'all don't know that was Pat and Michelle, and they drove a Tiffin. A 2017 Tiffin Phaeton 36 
G some, I said it right the first time. The 2017 Tiff and Phaeton 36 GH. Yes. That was their beautiful, beautiful coach. Um, and we thoroughly enjoyed being able to see it and let Harold test drive it. Yes, we we talked about Tiffin before. Like we mm -hmm. went and looked at them uh, even before we, we got our fifth wheel because we were trying to figure out like, do we want a fifth wheel? Do we want a class A? Do we want yep. a class C? Like. The only thing that's hindering us from getting a class A or a class C or a super C is they don't really offer a a, 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 bedroom. Bedroom, a bedroom for the kids. It's it's always like just bunks in like a hallway, like a closet. So the, the fifth wheel works perfect for us now, but we're also thinking down the road too when the kids are off of college and stuff like that. So I think it's always an option, but it was really cool getting to drive that because I had never driven a bus coach, um, class A yeah. style rig before. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, um, and and Pat and Michelle, like you guys, you are awesome. You guys Thank are you awesome. For us do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for uh, the crazy adventures over the last weekend. <laughs> uh, Pat for talking me into jumping off a bridge. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't much persuasion. I, I just did it. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it was really fun, and we we thoroughly enjoyed it, and we we very much hope we get to see you guys again at some point yeah so hopefully we can meet up again on the west coast yep one more thing though today is our 19th wedding anniversary it is. so happy anniversary love. happy anniversary we uh we've been married for 19 years now we've been on some crazy adventures uh, we, i was just talking a little bit this morning i'm like what are we gonna do when we get old because we're gonna have have traveled the country already all of our craziness is gonna be over yeah we thoroughly enjoyed the day and the week uh we have another week here and then it's off to acadia so, i'm so excited about acadia. yes yes we're gonna go home we're gonna i'm gonna cook you a nice dinner what are you making me i don't know whatever you want that means i have to choose or, or we can go out <laughs> it doesn't matter to me but uh we really appreciate you guys hanging in there with us and going on these crazy adventures with us and so uh, it's been great it's been great off to the next one <laughs>